Glory to God. Today, again, the book of Colossians. Colossians 1 and 15 today, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, divine preeminence of Christ coming from the book of Colossians. The epistle of Paul. The epistle of Paul, the apostle of the Colossians. Glory to God. Right? This letter, we thank God for this. This letter passed on from generation to generation and now is in my hands. Glory to God. Don't we give God glory and praises for that? Ain't that something? Colossians 1 and 15. Thank you, Jesus. This is going to bless the hearts of people. But some people don't know. And it's amazing because I had this in my notes. I said, look at this. And we just I just taught on Saturday about who Jesus is. Glory to God. And this is going to show us a little bit more. Divine preeminence of Christ. Right? It's going to help us too. It's going to help us. It's going to remind us so that we can so that we can stay in the faith. Stay in the faith, right? Glory to God and have faith and trust in God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yep, first Colossians. Yep, first Colossians. First Colossians 15, 15 to the 25th verse. Here we go. And it says, who is the image of the invisible God? Look, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Look, look at it. Why did it have to start off like this? Come on. Why? Why? Why, why, why Paul do this? Why, the, why he do this? The Bible says, first Colossians 15, who is the image of the invisible God? Oh, my Lord Jesus. This already started me up. It's getting me hype already. The Bible says the firstborn of every creature. Look, he's the firstborn of every creature. Good God, oh my Lord. Who? Jesus Christ. Christ, his divineness. He is the firstborn of every creature. And he is, look at this, the image of the invisible God. Lord Jesus. If this scripture doesn't tell you that Jesus is God, nothing else will. Now, he's the image of the invisible God because God is invisible. Who, those that don't know who God is, God is the Father. God the Father. God the Father is it. The Bible states that no man has seen him nor heard his voice in life. So how do we see him? How do we hear him? And how do we live? Right here in 15 verses said, who is, the in, who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Check this out, number 16. For by him were all, all, not some, all things made. Let me back this up a little bit, because I put made, hold on, excuse me, that was coming from me. That ain't come from that ain't come from the word. The Bible says, Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? Then it says, For by him were all things created. Excuse me. Created and made is two different things. By him all things were created. That are in heaven. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. And that are in earth. Look at this. Visible and invisible. Whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created by him and for him. Glory to God. We should be praising God for that. Glory to God, how everything was created by him and for him. So before you say that, look, even us, we was created, we was made. Listen, what? To give God praise. We was made and created to give God glory. The reason we don't know who we are is because of sin. Sin crept in and it confused everything. It got boys thinking they're girls. They got birds thinking they're dogs. They got little girls thinking they're boys. Glory to God. They got grown men going into women's bathroom. Sin confuses the minds of people. Glory to God. But who you really are, glory to God. You belong to God. And people need to know that God loves you. You belong to God. No need to be confused. You didn't come from a big bang. You didn't come from a fish. You didn't come from a monkey. You come from God. 
who is the image of the invisible God. Glory to God. If he is, look at this, this is the part right here. And he is before all things. <laughs> don't, think, don't think too deep. Whatever you do, please don't think too deep because his thoughts is not your thoughts. And his ways are not your ways. Glory to God, hallelujah. And he is before all things. And by him, all things consist. Good, look at this. And he is, look what it says, the head of the body. Look, look, look. He's the head of the body. The church. Jesus. Listen, listen. You the church. He's the head of it. God has order. God leads. Glory to God. God is the head of the church. Who is the beginning of He's the beginning. Also, the firstborn from the dead. He's the firstborn from the dead. No one else rose from the dead. No one else will except the, except the believers in Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And let, let me take that back too. Everybody going to rise back up. It ain't just the believers. Everybody going to rise back up. Why Pastor Bias? Why why um why brother bias or why servant bias or whatever you want to call me, brother bias, however you want to call me, why? Why everybody gonna rise up? Because all souls belong to God. And he is the head of the body, the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have the preeminence. Ain't this something? Glory to God. Oh, Lord. For it please the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. In him all fullness should dwell. Glory to God. And having made peace through the blood, it's peace through the blood. We got peace with the Father because of the blood. So I thank God for the blood. You should be thanking God for the blood too. Because if it wasn't for the shedding of the blood, there'd be no, it'd be no remission, no, no remission for the sins. If it wasn't for the shedding of the blood, we'd all be damned. If it wasn't for the shedding of the blood, there won't be no grace or no mercy. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell and having made peace through the blood of the cross by him to reconcile all things not some but all did it say just all Jews no they say all the Israelites but all things back unto him all men could be saved did it say just black no they say just black did it say just white no they say just all white people it didn't say just all black people but the Bible says in him by him to reconcile all things unto him. All things reconciled back unto him. Ain't that something? The only people that use the race car are those that, that see that be here whispers from the devil. God gonna save us all. We all come from the same source. God wants to save us all. We all come from the same source. God don't want to see no man perish, but all men come into repentance. God would love to see all men come into repentance and turn from their wicked ways. God don't want to see no man perish, but all men making it to the kingdom of heaven if it is his will. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you have free will. It's your choice. Glory to God. And through the blood of his cross, it says, through the blood of his, his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto him. By him, I say, whether there be things on earth, all things in heaven. He reconciled all things. Unto him. Peace. God had peace with man on earth and peace with things that are in heaven. There's peace. Oh, why did he, um, Pastor Bias, why should there be peace in heaven? Well, there was a war in heaven. And now it's peace there too. Because the serpent got kicked out of heaven. And one third of the angels followed with him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Jesus. It's peace now in heaven and also peace also in earth. Glory to God. And having made peace, as we did again, having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto him, by him I say whether they be things in earth or things in heaven. Reconciliation. Thank God for reconciliation. Thank God for peace. Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Thank God that the Father loved us enough that he wanted to give us peace. Glory to God. Hallelujah. He didn't have to do it. And I'm so happy that he did because I want everlasting life. I, I, I'm telling you, I don't want nothing. If it, listen, that will be enough for me. Just give me everlasting life. Who doesn't want everlasting life? I don't know more pain, no more sickness, no more weeping, no more crying. Glory to God. Just joy. And the Bible states unspeakable joy. Not just joy, but it's unspeakable. In the body of his flesh through death. Ain't that son? To present you what? Holy and unblameable and unprovable, unreprovable in his sight. Those are good three words to write down. Huh? What God, what did Jesus do once he died? Through his death. What happened? To present you what? This is this looks is what Jesus had to go through, right? He had to go through death. What to present you what? To present you, present you what? One holy. Right? Unblameable. That's number two. And number three, unreprovable in his sight. This is what you got to be, ladies and gentlemen. Don't let nobody else deceive you. You must be holy. Glory to God. Another thing you must be is unblameable. Yeah, people are going to falsely blame you for things, but let it be just that, falsely blaming. They falsely blame Christ. Christ didn't do it. So let people talk. Let them say what they're going to say as long as you are loyal and obedient to Christ and according to the scripture, in his sight. Forget man, in God's sight, in Jesus' sight. You must be holy, unblameable, and unreprovable. Blameless, ain't that something? Righteous, steadfast, glory to God. Saints is immovable. Glory to God. Ain't that something? Spiritual hope. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to God. In the body of his flesh, who flesh? Jesus, in the flesh that he had, the Father had flesh on him. And through death, what happened? To present you holy and unblameable. And unreprovable in his sight. And this one I like to that's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. You need to hear this part that's coming up for 20, that's coming up in 23 verse. It says, If my God, ye continue. Look, look at this. This is where free will come in at. If I like to listen to that, if ye continue in the faith. Woo, not everybody's going to continue. I pray to God that we continue. The Bible says, if. You continue in the faith, grounded. God wants us to be rooted and grounded in love and inseparable so that we won't fall away from the faith. Because many got the faith and they served God. And then when temptations came, they fell away from the glory of God. They fell away from the faith. And they started listening to demons. Glory to God. And when demons whisper to a man, they'll make you doubt God and you'll lose the faith. And when you lose the faith, what happens is you start doubting the scripture. And number two, you'll start hiding. And number three, you'll come up with your own doctrine that the devils give you. And then you become a heretic because what you're teaching is damnable. 
and it could cause people to error and lose their soul because you don't believe no more. Jesus. That's what God said in the 23rd verse of 1st Colossi, Colossians. Um, Colossians. He said, if ye continue in the faith, if it's because all men have free will to follow Christ or not. But as for me and my house, I choose to follow faith until the day I die. And this is how the saints should be until the day you die. You should speak that you want to follow God until the follow, continue in the faith until the day you die. And it said, grounded and settled. And be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. God said, don't be moved. Storms is going to come. Situations is going to pop up. Trials and tribulations is going to happen. But God said, be not moved. Don't let nothing move you. Friends is going to leave. Family going to talk about you. You might lose a couple of things, but God said, be not moved. This is all a part of salvation. Ain't this something? This is all a part of the gospel. This is all a part of salvation. But Christ said, be not moved. He said, be not moved away from the hope of the gospel. Which you have heard. Look you heard it. Faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing by the word of God. You heard. And which was preached. To every creature which is under heaven. Every creature is going to hear the gospel. Good God am I. Rather they ignore it or not. You're going to hear the gospel. Well if our poor I am made a minister. Like our Paul is a minister. God have other ministers. God going to have all the ministers like I'm a minister and I'm preaching the gospel now. And the Lord is using me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He says, who now rejoice in my suffering for you. And glory to God, man of God and the people of God and the women of God. Guess what? You're going to go through some suffering. But guess what? He rejoices in it. And God wants you to rejoice in your suffering. Rejoice in it. Learn how to rejoice in your suffering. Glory to God and fill up that which is behind of the afflictions. Learn how to go through whatever you're going through with Christ. Glory to God and rejoice in it. Glory to God. Rejoice in your suffering. Because number 24 said, who now rejoice in my suffering for you. Yeah, sometimes I suffer for y'all. Why You might say, why? What are you talking about? Well, when you preach the gospel, I get attacked. But God is with me. Satan tries to remind, Satan tries to remind me that he's not. So that when I go through an attack, I'll forget about God. And then when you forget about God, Satan will plant fear. And then once Satan plant fear, he got you. And fear brings on what? Anguish. Despair. Once despair kicks in, sometimes you're lost. Despair, you feel hopeless. You feel like there's no return. You feel like you've done so bad, you can't even return back to God. Despair, that's how Satan wants to get every human being to feel that way. Despair. I don't care. I, I'm, I'm too messed up. I'm going to hell anyway. You heard people ever say that? I'm going to hell anyway. Despair kicked in. Right? But God wants us to rejoice through your suffering. God wants you to be strong through your suffering. Not giving up during your suffering. Yeah, the world is hard, but I'm not going to give up. Yeah, temptations is hard, but guess what? I'm not going to give up. Yeah, that storm was almost unbearing, but guess what? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to still trust the voice of God. I have hope in Christ. Glory to God. And Christ wants you to have hope in him. 
For now rejoice in my suffering for you. Yeah, the suffering. Sometimes I preach the gospel, you go through something. You preach the gospel, especially if God gave it to you to give to the people, you'll be attacked. Uh, sometimes I told you what he attack you with. Sometimes fear. What else um, Satan attacks you with? Sometimes sickness. But through the sickness, what do we do? We praise God. Through the sickness, we don't think about the sickness. We listen to God and take what God tells us to take so that we can get healed. We preach even during, even though we're sick. God allows Satan to, to buffet you. Because guess what God knows you're going to do when Satan buffered you? You're going to rejoice. Every time Satan puts something on you, God's people rejoice. <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise God. We give him glory. We're still preaching and shouting. No matter what season it is, in my worst season, I could pray for my brothers and my sisters. Through my worst temptation, I could still get up on a Sunday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, any day, and bless the Lord. I bless the Lord with all my soul. Glory to God. All that is within me. Bless his holy name. Ain't that something? Glory to God. Hallelujah. All that is within me. Ain't that something? People be like, how are you blessing God? And that just happened. Glory to God because I trust God. Glory to God. And I always say, naked I came into this world. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And naked I'm leaving out. Glory to God. Nothing I have, oh God, I can't take with me. And when I leave, I can't take it with me. And when I came here, I had nothing. Glory to God. I was naked and my mama and my father, they brought me home. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whoever your mother was, whoever your father was, they brought you home. They didn't flush you down a toilet. They didn't have you extracted out. They didn't kill you with a hanger. But they brought you home and you're here now and you're here. You should give God glory. Glory to God. We should give God glory for that. We should give God glory. And it's enough to rejoice in my suffering. Because no matter what I go through, I know that someone been through something so much worse. And they survived it. Ain't that something? They survived it. And if they could survive it, you could survive it. And I survive it with a smile on my face, knowing that Christ is my hope. Glory to God. Christ is my hope. My hope is in Christ. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Don't forget that Christ lives in you. Satan tried to get you to forget that so that you could fall into despair, fall into fear, fall into doubt. But Christ lives in you, my brothers and sisters. And if Christ don't live in you, God says, tarry until he comes. Oh, Lord, and the word tarry means wait upon the Lord. Wait. And he's coming. Wait. You got to wait sometimes. God wants you to wait. God wants you to go through some things. God wants you to be obedient. God wants you to get an understanding. And then he'll fill you up with his spirit. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You got to go through some things. You got to pass those tests. Glory to God. And you're going to need the Holy Spirit to help you, lead you, and guide you through your afflictions, trials, tribulations, and your sufferings. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who now rejoice in my suffering for you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And fill up that which is behind of the afflictions. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And number 25. We're closing with 25. And the Bible says, Wherefore, where, excuse me, whereof I am made a minister. I told you someone's got different gifts, someone's a minister, anybody that speak to people, glory to God, and speak to people and teach people, you're a minister, according to what, the dis dispensation, 
dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Speak the word of God to fulfill the word of God. Glory to God. Make sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, walking in the will of God, and God will bring you peace, joy, and happiness. Ladies and gentlemen, you will go through your trials and your tribulations. But remember through your trials and your tribulations and your pain and your doubt that God is still God. Even through your sickness and your disease, glory to God. Still praise God through your sufferings. Glory to God because at the end the Bible says, Eyes haven't seen and ears haven't heard, neither has it dropped into the hearts of men what God has prepared for those that love him. God say, be rooted and grounded in his word. Don't look at the distractions of the devil. Don't look at the wind that's blowing. Don't look at the storm. Don't look at the distractions. Don't look at the temptations. Don't worry about the trials and tribulations. Don't worry about who's gossiping who's talking, who's lying on you. God says, stay focused in this season. And he will direct thy paths. Glory to God. The Lord will direct thy path. As hard as it is, I'm not going to get up here and lie to you and say that it's easy. You know how many times I've failed that test of standing still when God said, be still. And each time I failed, I got whooped. The attacks became stronger. And when the attacks became stronger, I had to get on my knees. I had to fast and pray and that's God to come back into my life. Glory to God, hallelujah, for being disobedient. It's better, it's better to obey than to sacrifice. It's better to obey. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, it's better to obey, obey God, than to sacrifice. Sometimes that sacrifice, doing it on your own, you're going you're gonna to go through some things. You're going to fall without God. You're going to fall without his divine preeminence. You're going to fall. Jesus Christ is all we need. And he's all that we got. Anything else you will lose. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, today is the day. Now is the time of salvation. Today is the day of salvation. Now is the acceptable time. The Bible says, the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Glory to God. But allow God to turn your stony heart into a heart of flesh so that he could talk to it. So that he could change you before it's too late. Glory to God. I love you all. I God bless you all. I hope and pray that this word stick with you. I pray and hope that we all fight this walk together. I pray and hope that we all continue to encourage each other. Iron sharpens iron. It's a blessing that we all coming together on one accord, hearing each other. Thank God, because this is not condemnation. This is love, and God loves us, and I know I got to do it just as much as y'all do it. And sometimes I felt just like you felt, and I know I got to get it right, because I don't want to die, and I don't want to go to hell. But I do want to die. I do want to die, but I want to die in Christ when I do die. And I want to be with God forever. Glory to God. That sounds more promising to me than dying and being with Satan and burning in the lake of fire forever. I don't want to do that, and I'm, uh, I promise you, I don't want to do that, and I'm not going to do that. You got to tell yourself, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to walk with Christ. I'm going to walk with him to the end. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. With all that I got, all my soul, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight this fight with the armor of God on, and we're going to do what we got to do. Glory to God. And we're going to do this together, piece by piece, day by day. Second by second, moment by moment, until we make it in. Glory to God. I love you all. I pray that the Lord bless y'all today. I pray that he bless your family. I pray that he gives you the desires of your heart. I pray that we turn from evil. Glory to God. Anything that's evil that's in us, I pray that God deliver us from evil. Set us free so that we can serve him in the beauty of holiness which is acceptable unto the Lord. It's our reasonable service. Glory to God to be holy. It says, be holy for I am holy. Glory to God. Let us be holy. Let us live holy. Let us think holy. Let us do things that are holy. Let no foul mouth talk or anything that's gal come out of our mouth, but let things that is edifying and pleasing to God so that he hear what you say and hear to others. Glory to God. You're helping others with your mouth and what's inside of your heart. Glory to God. I pray that. Glory to God. I pray that we do it. I believe we can do it. And if we're not there yet, I believe God will clean us up because he's God and there's nothing impossible for God. I pray that we fast more. We pray more. We study more. We meditate more. We worship him more. Glory to God. And the more you do those things and you keep your mind on Christ, 
the more the Lord will live, the more the power of God will live in you. Glory to God. Christ in you. Glory to God. The hope of glory. God bless you all. Yeah.